Nick's trying to convince me before we got in here that you can take a testosterone pill that doesn't go through your liver. Yeah, it's uh, first of all today. <laughs> today's a very big day for me. I literally announced that I'm the first doctor in Utah to prescribe Kaisatrex, this new oral testosterone. And this guy immediately, oh, go through your liver. It's bullshit. Can't take it. I didn't say it's bullshit. <laughs> I, I said, how can does it you, not go through your liver? You Hold on, I want. This? That's what I want. I, I I literally just teed you up at the beginning of the podcast to share. I know. I'm, I'm giving this. you a free ad. I'm go ahead, this. talk yeah. about your yeah. non-liver <laughs> oral. Congratulations. Test. The the, first, do you have to yeah, thank shoot you. this thing? Thank you. Uh, it's no, it's oral testosterone. It bypasses the liver. So earlier oral testosterone, that was a huge problem. They go through your liver and they cause liver toxicity, really bad. This one, the way it's formulated, gets lymphatically absorbed. You take it with food, it goes through your lymphatic system, okay? Not through your liver. Um, so you don't get the liver toxicity and you get a lot of the great effects of testosterone without the downsides. It's interesting because people don't have education on those things. It's easier now. You got all these yeah. different people you can listen to. Back then- It's almost expected now. It's like if you're over 30 and you're not on some sort of TRT, it's sort of like- Yeah, oh, I, 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 pretty much everybody's on test at this point in the ball well, they, game. You pretty much, you should be, not, right. Like, well, it's the first thing 30, I tell guys be. when they come in the program. It's like, if you have low energy or you just don't feel good, you need to get your test check. Well, people think <laughs> the, like the biggest people, guys come in Can all the time. And they're like, I want better erection. I want more energy. But the real, like, and those are great. Don't get me wrong. Those, those are, are great. absolutely <laughs> great. Amazing. The <laughs> biggest <laughs> benefit though with testosterone is maintaining your muscle mass. The number one predictor for you living a long life is your muscle mass. Not to mention And like, so it, it's going to help you live longer. Well, that's the get problem on. with the weight loss drugs right now too though, right? Those Ozempic and all that stuff, it actually takes away your muscle mass. Is that yeah. correct? Oh, by the way, I love your video you did on it. Thank you. You so, need to do more videos like that. I, I do. I've been like screaming about these drugs from the start and it's like finally people are like, oh, hey, let's go. we should listen to this guy. I still have a question about by, like the fact that you can take a pill and yes. bypass the liver. Yes. All right, let's Another do, from, like, let's do get into that, that like, because that's... <laughs> Like, what's what do that? you mean? One way to do it? Stick well, it up yeah, your ass? Exactly. Yeah. So how can you actually take something orally? No, pills, that pills, on? pills that go up your ass can still go through the liver. Okay. So how does the Mark, pill you've been lied to me this whole time? I'm out of my depth. There. I don't know anything about putting anything in my butt. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously pills. though. Like how does it go? In, so you take it orally. It goes into your stomach, right? It does. And the way it's absorbed and the way it's at a molecular level, it's absorbed through the lymphatic system. The, the actual like active port, the active component of the drug goes into the lymphatic system. Interesting. There's a thing out there called Ozempic face, right? It's because people are losing like muscles in their face. They look like shit. Sharon Osborne's one of them, right? Really? Like, oh yeah, they look bad. But dude, the Osborne's. You have no, like, no other muscle to pull from. So this, right? this goes back to like what, what I said, the most important thing with tests was per longevity. Muscle mass is the number one indicator of longevity. These people that are taking this the wrong way and are losing 10 pounds, I, I hope you enjoy your size zero dress. You just took five to 10 years off your life. Well, by the way, though, every pound of muscle allows you 20 calories to eat in a day exactly. that it's gonna burn naturally. And so yeah. you, the more muscle you put on, the more, the more food you, can, you can just eat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your size, what are you, like 130 yeah. pounds of muscle or something? 40 pounds of muscle? Uh, I don't Do know you if weigh, I... you weigh 250? I'm 270, about 270, right? So you probably have 210 pounds of muscle on you. Yeah, so I'm at 19% body fat. So lean lean weight, yeah. Do the math, bro. Come on, doc. I was like right on the money. That's pretty, <laughs> That's pretty close, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Why are you trying to make us do math but on the podcast? Here's the crazy yeah, thing. Shit. When you ask these guys questions, they see the difference. I knew I was unhealthy. I knew I was horrible. Like I hated myself. And I lost the weight and it didn't, like there were there were things I was like oh yeah like it's better but I've had to actually really train myself to be happy with where I'm at um, and 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 celebrate that like it's and so it's for awesome, you but I still have body dis like body dysmorphia issues where I'm like I don't like so for you Nick what was it that got you I mean you said you knew you were unhealthy so what finally clicked for me I had to get to a place of like really rock bottom to decide some changes had to be made. Um, that weren't and, just like weight related. They were like lifestyle yeah, adding to how yeah. you're feeling. Yeah. So like, like 75 hard was such a huge uh, push for me, not because of the weight loss and the exercise and everything. 75 hard for me was like the first time in my life I had kept promises to myself every single day. And that's what really compounded. Like when you're doing, when you're making like eight little promises to yourself every single day, no matter what, that builds up 
just pride and self-love yeah. and the no weight doubt. loss confidence i mean that's confidence yeah. is knowing that you keep promises to yourself that's yeah. all it is it's like i do what i say i'm gonna do 